A man accused of crashing his car into the entrance of Wilmington International Airport last night made his first court appearance today. Celeste Smith has the story. Trey Anthony Dvorak is facing numerous charges, including assault with a deadly weapon on a government official, disorderly conduct, trespass on airport property, and resist, obstruct, delay a government official. Right now his charges are state, but that, that doesn't mean that the, he can't be charged federally going forward. Uh, last night we were able to charge him with six different charges that put him in jail with a bond and then he can be still add additional federal charges if they deem so. According to the New Hampshire County Sheriff's Office, Dvorak drove his vehicle through the fence and onto the tarmac. He then left the tarmac while being pursued by sheriff deputies and ended up inside the terminal after crashing through doors and windows. According to TSA, one of their staff members had minor injuries from the incident and has since been released from the hospital. Passengers traveling through ILM were shocked when they learned about the incident. Very shocking to see like my first reaction is how did that even happen i think just relief that nobody was really injured i mean for me that's that would be my biggest nightmare just walking to your flight and then having a car like barrel through a glass door towards you on friday ilm airport director jeff burke released a statement which reads in part i want to thank new hanover county sheriff's office other law enforcement agencies airport staff and our airport partners that acted quickly and effectively last night I am very proud of our team. I also want to thank Monteith Construction, who responded quickly overnight to make temporary repairs to the fence line and terminal front, so normal operations could resume. ILM has been and continues to be fully in compliance with TSA security requirements. The airport is open and fully operational. That was Celeste Smith reporting. During today's court appearance, we learned Dvorak was on pretrial release for another offense. His next court date is March 30th.